YouTubers, and welcome back to another episode here on ESGN Net. And this is Madden 18 Dallas Cowboys franchise, and this is Cowboy Insider episode number five. As we're taking a look here, take a quick look here at week five of the NFL season for the Dallas Cowboys. So, Cowboys won that game 42 to 28. There you see the numbers there. You guys can take a look at the stats there as we uh, go along here. Cowboys did a great job there, of course, in field position there, and also in penalties. Uh, and it actually did a pretty good job. Well, actually, an excellent job removing the ball there. We had two guys. Uh, well, one, uh, of course, Elliott being getting a 100 yard game. Uh, but the other one was Madera McFadden, who had 88 uh, rushing yards there in that game. He also had a touchdown there. So, a nice day there in the uh, running department. Passing there, uh, yeah, Prescott did give uh, give an INT there, but he had three touchdowns in the game. 330 was his uh, game. Aaron Rodgers, 319, one, t- one touchdown, one interception there for him. He had a uh, decent day there, but they're still struggling there in that division or in that uh, on that ball club there. They are still winless now. They are now 0 and 5 uh, going into week six. Uh, there you see the numbers there was, uh, for rushing, like I mentioned earlier. Ty Montgomery was really surprising there. He didn't have a really monster game uh, because both those touchdowns came in a short yardage. Uh, but he had two uh, rushing touchdowns for 18 yards, 14 carries there for him. Uh, and then, of course, uh, Ripken, uh, Ripkowski there had uh, that one-yard touchdown there uh, for the Packers. So, uh, now we did cough off the ball once there rushing-wise. Uh, Morris got hit there by... Uh, Clay Matthews, which was a, just a clean, nice hit. Uh, they got the ball back but could not convert uh, that turnover uh, for points there. So that was nice uh, to see that happening. Uh, overall, I think we did a pretty good job, I and mean, with the exception of one guy, uh, well, actually two guys. We had um, one guy, uh, which was Randall Cobb, had over 100 yards. Now, we kept him quiet. He didn't get a touchdown. But the other guy... Uh, that we didn't keep quiet. He ended up getting in the end zone. That was Jordy Nelson. Now, Nelson didn't have a big game or anything like that, but uh, you see seven or three receptions for 75 yards. Uh, he had that one touchdown, which was uh, like uh, just a rainbow throw there towards the end there. Uh, we're trying to cover him as much as possible, but, you know, uh, Jordy, it's Jordy Nelson. I mean, what can you say? The guy has some, he has some wheels on him, uh, was able to go down the field, and, and Aaron Rodgers did a great job just lobbing that one up there for a touchdown there. so, uh, But I think overall, I think we did a great job of uh, really capping them. We didn't let, let Aaron Rodgers get around. Now, we did leave some time on the clock there. Uh, and, of course, when you do that, you know, with him or even, you know, even Tom Brady or even Peyton Manning or even Eli Manning, they can take – they'll take advantage of that and they'll, you know, really, uh, you know, really turn it up and really make you pay for it afterwards. But – we were able to avoid that, and um, for the most, I mean, they did score, you know, towards the last two minutes of the game, but not in a big way to come back. We were still down by uh, two possessions, so which was, you know, decent. That's, you know, that's to me, that's a great game. There, we got two possessions in front of them. We got the win. That's good, always good for me. So, uh, anyway, just as long as we get a win, that's that's all. That's most most the most important thing of all. Uh, take a look at some of the league news there. You guys can uh, pause the video and check those out there. It's just some of the things that are going on with some other teams. Some other teams not get, staying on track there, as you see there for the Falcons, uh, you know, after that debacle they had last season. <laughs> uh, actually, it was one of the teams I was thinking about going back to. I think I've had them as a franchise team here a couple of years ago here on the channel. I was thinking about going back to them this year for this year's game because of what happened last year at the Super Bowl. Uh, or earlier this past year for the Super Bowl, but I was like, nah, uh, I'll, I'll just stick with these guys. I'll stick with the Cowboys. So uh, almost there, almost had it there, Falcons. Almost, almost had me. Uh, but then you take a look at the standings right now here, and uh, we got the next game. We got a bye week coming up here in Week Six. Uh, we'll have uh, we'll have that coming up here, a Week Six uh, bye week video coming up uh, right after this one. But uh, Week Seven we played against the 49ers. We'll talk a little bit about them here in just a bit. But there you see some of the the divisions right now breaking. Yeah, we we broke it down there, uh, and there you see again 0 and 5 Packers here really struggling. The Vikings uh, 1 and 4, Bears 2 2 and 1, and the Lions surprisingly enough in first place with a 3 and 2 record there. We'll see how long that will last there. Now don't get me wrong, Lions did a great job last year. 
um, with their team. They had some, they were getting some stuff going together, but just came up short towards the end there. Uh, as for the uh, Pat or for the uh, Steers from last year, we had them as a franchise. Now they're still doing good here, five and zero oh, going into Week Six. Uh, Bengals uh, three and five or three and two there in, in that division. And then surprisingly enough, another big surprise for this season here are the Jaguars, four and one there. Um, Andrew Luck, uh, I think think he have him on the injury on the IR on this game as he is right now, like in real, real life. But uh, yeah, their Colts are really struggling right now, two and three there. Uh, they are not taking that division as we most people would think they would. Uh, Jaguars actually have a pretty good team so far here, but they I've been looking at some of their players there. And they got a team that I, I'm kind of scared of. Uh, playing against if we ever had to play them here. I'm not sure if we had to play them or not this season, but uh, yeah, they get themselves together here this year and do well. I think next year and the next couple of years, they'll be a pretty good team that uh, I'll be afraid to play. <laughs> Honestly, I ain't going to lie. Uh, of course, the uh, Patriots in first place, 5 0 record there. Uh, of course, you know, the cover boy from this year's game, Mr. Tom Brady, uh, he is. Of course, uh, leading that charge there. The Kansas City Chiefs there, ha, <laughs> ha, my evil, just a team I just I love to hate. Uh, they are 1-3-1. One, and one. So, All right, so these are your Week 5 games here as you take a look here. Of course, Patriots, like I said, won their game 30-25 against the Bucks. Uh, Lions there won 33-7 against the uh, Pan- Panthers. Uh, any other scores that look interesting? 42-14 there. Chargers put, get a nice win there. Uh, and then for the Philly, uh, Phillies beat uh, the Cardinals uh, 32-27. Uh, Raiders win against the Ravens 35-17. Their ECR score 42-28. And Texans win 29-27. A very close game there for that Sunday night game there against the um uh, you can't see Chiefs there on that one. So, nine, uh, some pretty good games there and uh, some pretty good matchups here coming up in week six. Uh, we'll, uh, um, so I can't remember what the, which game the games were, but um, for the most part here, take a look at your top players of week five. There you see Bortles, uh, like I said, had that great game there uh, and continue doing great here. Take a look at his numbers there. Just some really uh, unusual numbers there we don't see from Bortles there, especially from, you know, Jaguars. I mean, they, they've been kind of the joke of the of the NFL here the last couple of seasons now. And that's starting to ch- turn around here, especially with the Lions. You know, Lions doing really good there uh, in the NFC uh, North Division there. So both of those two teams there have been kind of been, uh, you know, been talked about here the last couple of years and been made fun of are now starting to turn things around now. What is up with the deal with the Browns? Can why can they do the same thing here? I, I would like to see them, you know, be a hot team, but not going to be the case. But go ahead anyway. We'll go ahead and talk about uh, this now bye week here. And bye week coming up. We have a bye week. Uh, the bye week video will basically would just be me showing you guys off stats and what's going on around the league, um, and then kind of get into. We'll have a bit of more of a preview. We'll talk a bit more about these guys here, the 49ers who will play in Week Seven. Uh, 49ers. Uh, have not uh, won a game yet, I don't believe. Uh, they're still winless. And there you see some of the tendencies and uh, some of the players. One of the players on defensively we have to worry about uh, is uh, Navarro uh, Bowman. Uh, great linebacker there. Guy that definitely is going to be – he is there for the heart and soul of that uh, defense there. And, of course, Carlos Hyde on the offense there behind the backfield there. That is going to be a juggernaut that we just – I, I'm, just, I'm afraid that we just may not be able. We may have to just, uh, just deal with him, and, and just try our best at because uh, rushing defense here, uh, we haven't really played a, a great ru- or you know a great running team yet, uh, and, and 49ers, uh, they they kind of have that with Carlos Hyde there. So that game is going to be very interesting, and I will show you guys that game there in week seven. Uh, but there you see some of the injuries here going into um, going into that game. Like I said, we have a we have a bye week, so we don't have much to really look forward to for next week. But there you see some of the injuries there. Not too many key injuries uh, for the 49ers right now. Um, but yeah, say the least, there uh, we're gonna have to worry about a few things now. Talking about the 49ers here, we got uh, Brian Hoyard. Uh, there you see a long time journeyman. He's been with the Browns. Uh, for a while there, 
uh, Michigan, State, Michigan State guy, seven years in the league. Uh, there you see him. Um, there he's. I don't know. If they're going to be start him or they're going to start this guy right here from Iowa, uh, CJ uh, Bathard. I'm uh, not for sure. He's been. They've both been playing games. They've been both uh, been showing off what they can do. Um, but so, but the question is, who we're going to get? We honestly don't know yet. So we're kind of game plan for both of them. Uh, I'm thinking since last game, I, I looked at the stats there for uh, Hark, um, for uh, CJ there. He had some pretty good numbers there. I think they may end up starting him. Um, there you see Carl. Well, you've seen Carlos Hyde, uh, but there you see uh, Pierre Garcon. Uh, there you see his numbers there. Of course, one of, one of the key receivers there we have to watch out for. Defensively, uh, Elvis Dumerville. Uh, I didn't realize he was on this team. <laughs> I almost, uh, when I looked up, I'm like, kind of scratched my head. I'm like, wow, I haven't heard that name for quite a while. But yeah, uh, Dumerville is there. I think last time I remember him being on a team, with this tells you, tells you how long. Uh, it was, uh, was uh, for Denver. And then I think, he, I think he played in Baltimore for a while there. So. Uh, but Bowman, uh, you see uh, Bowman, uh, Navarro Bowman, one of the uh, linebackers. Like I said, he's the, probably the heart and soul of that defense there. And uh, we'll have to see and try to avoid him uh, when it comes to the running and the pass there because he is good at uh, figuring out both. So, uh, But there you see, that's going to be weeks uh, seven that we'll play against the um, 49ers. As for next week, we have a bye week. Like I said, we're just going to talk about what's going on in the league. We'll show you some, some league stats. And just some league news on what's going on and show our team stats of uh, what we've done so far. And give kind of my idea of what, uh, what my idea of for this season so far, this first uh, six or five, five well, yeah, six weeks have been for us so far here. So kind of a, a, a what do you call it, a grade, a report card uh, sort of sorts here in that episode. All right, so that is it for this episode here today. You guys, thank you for this uh, quick uh, recap of week five. Like I said, I think we did a great job there playing uh, against Green Bay. Um, they start off really, really hot. They, you know, they have that deep uh, sixty-yard touchdown. I'm like, I'm like, okay, this is gonna be an interesting game. This is gonna be a fun game. Uh, and it was to the point where we start pulling away there, and then uh, it's like, okay, uh, yeah, they they're still playing like a, you know, like they did against the Bears when they came up short there. Uh, so, yeah. We'll have to see what we do uh, against the 49ers. I think that one's going to be very interesting, uh, and I can't wait to play them. Um, so that is coming up, uh, like I said, week seven. But that is it for this episode, you guys, uh, for week five of the Cowboys Insider. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you guys enjoyed today's episode, please leave a like. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, uh, to our uh, Facebook, Twitter, and Tumblr. Links are down below in the description. Check those out uh, to get the latest news and events on what's going on here on ESGNet and what's going on in the world of sports in general. So thank you guys so much for watching. As always, keep yourselves healthy, and I will see you guys next time.